Hey, what's up guys? In my previous video, I did a difficulty ranking of each of the Eagle Required Merit Badges. So if you haven't seen that already, check that out right here. That's part one. I'm going to try to make it show up in the editing process. But right now, I'm going to be talking about how useful in your everyday life each of these Eagle Required Merit Badges are. As someone who's you know, gone through the scouting program, earned my Eagle rank, went to college, and now I've entered the real world. I've kind of had some first-hand experience seeing how useful each of these merit badges have been in my own life. So now I want to share that with you, with this tier list. And before we get started, just let me tell you that this is my own experience. You know, your mileage may vary. You may be using these badges a lot more than me, but just in my own experience, this is how much I've been using these merit badges in everyday life. Hey, what's up guys? Here we are in my computer. I'm gonna be telling you about how useful each of the Eagle Required Merit Badges are in your everyday life. So let's talk about emergency preparedness first. Now, I think that being prepared for an emergency is always super important. Like it's better to be very prepared and then not face an emergency than to not be prepared and to face an emergency. But in my own experience, I haven't had any big catastrophes. Knock on wood, I definitely don't want to. I think that this knowledge actually is really important and super useful. So I'm gonna put it in A tier, even though I haven't faced any emergencies, just having this knowledge helps me to feel prepared, feel more confident and feel more secure if the situation ever does occur. So next, going on to swimming. The swimming merit badge, full disclaimer, didn't actually teach me how to swim. I knew how before that. And this might just be my experience because I grew up in Hawaii but I already knew how to swim and I don't think it really developed my swimming skills very much. So I would put it in C tier, but learning to swim is a super useful skill. So if you didn't know how to swim and the swimming merit badge taught you, that's S tier. All right, citizenship in the world. Now in citizenship in the world, you get a pretty good perspective on what life is like in all the cultures. It gives you a glimpse at just how the world works outside of our country. And I think that's really important experience, especially if you decide to travel abroad. So because of that, because citizenship in the world opens your eyes so much, but also because it kind of misses some points, I would only put it at B tier, just because there's a lot more to the world than kind of what you learn in that badge. All right, next. Family life. I think family life is also a really important badge just because it puts in the back of your mind the importance of working to create a great family atmosphere. It lets you know that if you think about how you have relationships with other people, you can make it better. Because it teaches you that, it's such an important badge. And I think that it should go in A tier, even though you don't really learn too much in the badge itself, just by going through the exercises and by speaking with your family, learning to communicate better, I think it's a super important badge that'll help you in the real world for sure. Yep, so family life is definitely going in the A tier there. All right, now first aid. I've actually used first aid quite a bit. I'm kind of clumsy sometimes. So just having that first aid knowledge, being really prepared for any kind of emergency and knowing how to treat things without hurting yourself more. I think that goes into S tier. You're gonna always be using first aid and the principles build too. Even if you know how to treat a broken arm and scrapes and things like that, there's gonna be injuries that come up that you're not really too prepared for. But by knowing the fundamentals, I think that you can expand on your understanding to actually treat things that you're not super prepared for and still do a good job. So that's why I'm putting first aid in S tier. All right, now life-saving. Drowning is a huge risk when doing any kind of aquatic activity. So if you're around that a lot, I'd say, it's a much higher ranking in the tier list, probably closer to like A or S. But if you're not around water too much, then it's B or C. I'm gonna just put it as B because if you are on the water as like a lifeguard or some other role like that, you're gonna need a lot more experience than just the life-saving merit badge. All right, citizenship in the nation. I think citizenship in the nation is a really useful merit badge for understanding how our country works. If you're gonna learn about anything, I think in terms of citizenship, I think it should be learning about our nation and how you can participate in our awesome democracy. So I would say that this is A tier. This is a really useful badge and it teaches you the importance of just getting active in your nation and trying to help make a better place. So A tier for sure. Personal fitness. Now, in my opinion, this is by far one of the most important merit badges just because living in a physically fit way helps you to have so much energy in the rest of your life. It helps you to feel more confident. It helps you to just be more invigorated, have a lot more excitement about things and to just feel more confident. So because of that, I'm gonna put this one in S tier. 
this kick-started my journey into personal fitness. When I was growing up, I was a little bit overweight and way out of shape. But since I took personal fitness, since I joined cross country and track and started doing sports, and then I later went into going to the gym, it really helped me to gain more confidence and just to grow into myself. So that's definitely S tier for me. All right, now camping. I actually went camping like a week ago and I really like it. It gives me a sense of confidence, just being able to survive in the outdoors. It's fun if you're working, it clears your mind after like a long work week. But most people don't use camping all the time. Some Eagle Scouts that I've talked to haven't really gone camping since their scouting days. So I'm gonna say it's B tier. Like it's really nice to have, but it's definitely not essential. All right, now for cooking. Cooking is such an important skill because as I already said in my last video, you can make your favorite foods, you can eat more healthy, you can save money. So because of all these factors, I think cooking is really high up on the tier list. I'm thinking cooking should be S tier. Because cooking is just such an essential skill and because it's kind of fun to do too, it's definitely S tier for me. All right, citizenship in the community. Citizenship in the community is a really important part of feeling connected with the people that you live around. But I also think that you don't need to earn the citizenship in the community merit badge to get started on this. As a scout, you learn to volunteer, you learn to get outside of your bubble and speak to other people, just be more confident. And I don't know if the citizenship in the community badge is responsible for that. I think that it does help in a way, but overall, learning citizenship in the community as a merit badge isn't the most useful for helping you to open up your bubble and get involved in your community. So I'm gonna just put it as B tier. It's definitely useful, it definitely helps, but I think that citizenship in the nation is a lot more niche knowledge for getting involved in your nation, where citizenship in the community is more just practice volunteering and getting outside of your bubble. All right, environmental science. Understanding the science of the environment is definitely important, but I would say, honestly, it's not something that's used too much in the real world. Like, you should understand climate change, you should understand how your actions impact the world around you, but this is more of a scientific badge, so I would say, unfortunately, it's going in the C tier. I think it's useful, I think you should learn it, and I'm really glad it's an Eagle Required Merit Badge, but just because of its practicality in everyday life, uh, that's why I'm ranking it as low as I am. All right. Now, personal management, on the other hand, is also very scientific. You know, you're gonna need to learn a lot of concepts, a lot of knowledge around your finances. But this badge is super important for your real life. Learning how to save money, learning how to invest, learning how to put off purchases, all that is so useful. And honestly, money ties in a lot with happiness, or at least not having to worry about money. So if you can eliminate your money worries, then I think you're gonna live a much better life. And that's why I'm gonna put this badge in S tier. It was my first glimpse into the world of personal management, managing my finances, and it's really gone a long way over time in helping me to cultivate great money habits. So that's why I'm putting that in S tier right now. Hiking. Hiking is an awesome badge, but I think for one key reason. In hiking, you're gonna need to hike a 20 miler, which is insane for most scouts, you know? For me, I'd only ever gone like 10 miles before that. So walking a 20 miler double that, I didn't think it was possible, but I was able to do it. Like that's the crazy thing. And that's why I would say that I think hiking is A tier. Hiking taught me that I'm capable of doing things that I didn't think were possible. And that's why I think this badge is amazing. And that's why I'm gonna put it in A tier. Cycling too, cycling also teaches you cheaper ways of getting around and a 50 miler bike ride is no easy task, so also A tier. Uh, I'd say sustainability, probably with environmental science, is C tier. It's super important to learn. You know, my parents both are engineers who work with the environment and like trying to live more sustainably, so I get how important that is. But just in practicality, the everyday life, if it's not your profession, I think you're probably not gonna use it too much, so that's why I'm ranking sustainability C tier. Finally, communications. You already know what I'm gonna say for this. It has to be S tier, just because being able to communicate, get your point across and be heard is for a human being, probably one of the most, if not the most important skills. If you can get your thoughts to be heard and to influence other people and to lead, you can do anything. You can help to affect any important change that you need. So that's why I would say it's S tier. Now, just looking at these S tier merit badges, I think it makes sense, you know, safety, health, 
food, finances, communication, all of these things help you to become a better person. So yeah, I, I feel pretty good about this tier list. Now, if you like this video, if you want more content like this, if you want to learn how to become a better scout and reach Eagle and just have the right mindsets to succeed in scouting, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to put out new videos as often as I can so that I can help scouts like yourself to achieve and lead and just make the most of your time in scouting. So thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for checking out the channel. And until next time, best of luck on your scouting journey.